So, uh, so folks, here we go. Today's celebration appreciation is, no doubt about it, you haven't figured it out. A lone pick indeed. Thank you, Luna. Thank you. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> and Cat yeah. could not pick just one. She loves the whole series, so she's gonna talk about what she loved about it. Like, tell us about your first encounter with it, your experience with it. Did you go to any uh -huh. midnight showings? That stuff. So just yeah. start wherever you like. Go out. Go ahead, Cat. Talk about the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, of course. Um, the first time uh, I encountered Lord of the Rings was actually my mom was trying to find uh, to find a movie for us to watch when I was like pretty young. I think I was like six or seven or something. Wow. And she picked up Lord of the Rings from Blockbuster and was just like, oh, we're going to watch this. I'm like, what the f that's a stupid ass title, <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Like, that sounds so dumb, mom. And But she had read like the books and so she like knew about it previously and was like, yeah, oh. I really want to watch it. It just came out or whatever. And so we rented it from Blockbuster <laughs> and uh, it was it was my first encounter and it, it was kind of like, I don't know if anyone's seen that South Park episode where they're all getting into Lord of the Rings, but they like pass around the, the Blockbuster rental to all their friends. That's literally what I did. Um, all of the, <laughs> I, I got hooked immediately and then I just passed it around to all of my friends and then uh, they all, they all watched it. And then we used to we used to like pretend that we were the characters and and like <laughs> we play pretend and, and act out as all the characters and and stuff on the playground. <laughs> Wait, so, so who are you? <laughs> I was Aragorn. Ah! I always chose to be Aragorn. Aragorn is probably my favorite character. Um, I have a few favorite characters, but he's definitely up there. And uh, I love Aragorn. I'm I I am Aragorn. <laughs> But, but no, I, I absolutely love Aragorn. <laughs> Do we just become friends? Yes. Yes. Uh -oh. if, if you like Lord of the Rings, you're instantly my friend. Um, my VHS through. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so we watched the first one, and then after that we watched the others in theaters. Uh, I, don't, I didn't go Midnight Showings for... There was a Lord of the Rings series because I was really young, but um, I did go to all the Midnight Showings of the Hobbit movies which weren't as good as the the lord of the rings trilogy mm -hmm. but it was still pretty good you know i i d definitely didn't enjoy it as much they shouldn't have stretched out a 300 page book into three movies but you know we won't get <laughs> yeah. into that yeah we're here for lord <laughs> of the rings don't worry hobbit fans yeah. we'll leave you all oh, alone <laughs> <laughs> but anyway <laughs> aragorn's up there as a favorite um oh yeah the soundtrack's amazing yeah, yeah. i think aragorn's my favorite and uh, Sam is probably my other Ooh, main Sam. favorite. Sam Kenji. is carries the whole series on his back. No, I mean literally and figuratively. Like, yeah, yeah, uh, like that, right? Literally carrying <laughs> Frodo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, literally, those two characters are are absolutely incredible. I like the, especially with Aragorn, the the character development through the three movies slash books. Like he starts out as this lone ranger, and then he becomes this kind of castaway king, and then he becomes the king of Gondor. I absolutely love that. And then Sam, it just the the un unquestionable loyalty and friendship to Frodo. Oh my God, I love that man. Uh, and you know, even when Frodo kind of betrayed him in a sense, oh, that broke my mm -hmm. heart. It breaks my heart every time I see it. Um, and then you know, Sam went right back. You know, because he's just that loyal. You know, so those those yeah. characters are just freaking. Yeah, he comes back. He's reliable. Yeah. Yeah, good. Samwise Gamgee is absolutely underrated. I, if I ever have a child, I would like to name them Sam. Um, <laughs> but but I, I absolutely, I love those characters. And But that's how I, I originally uh, got into it. And I just, throughout the years, I pretty much watched the series every single year. Uh, uh, and then it became like every six months. Like, I just watch it constantly. Oh, nice. And I didn't actually... Yeah, I didn't actually read the books until I think I was in high school or college. I can't remember, but I didn't read the books until later on because they were a bit challenging. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, to my to my stupid brain, but well, um... I, I don't know. I'm, our mother is an avid reader. The bees and our, our mother, like she reads yeah, a yeah. lot, and she always says Lord of the Rings is very very creative, but not the best written. Right. So. It's it's definitely it kind of. Um, it draws a little too right. long for a while and i actually lord of the rings is one of the only series where i say i actually prefer the movies to the books only because 
in the movies, you can see all of the detail that is written in the books. The books kind of, you know, they have to describe all this beautiful scenery, mm -hmm. which, you know, that's just the, the thing about being a book. You have to describe it. Whereas in the movie, they just show it. And then you don't have all that extra fluff of description. Uh, obviously, I love the movies, but it's great to be able to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I get it. Yep. Yep. I'm just going to acknowledge yeah. some chat. Lord of the Rings introduced Sumio yep. to Sean Bean, Elijah Wood. <laughs> it reads like a history, but it's, it's a little dry read. That, that's, that is what I've heard. Definitely dry. I couldn't read past yeah. the middle of the two towers. Actually, our mother loved the two towers. She couldn't really get into any of the Hobbit segments, she said. Again, this is celebration appreciation. We're not here to, to put down the books, which is <laughs> why I really appreciate um, how the chat is acknowledging it. This is just their feelings about it, you know. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry, yeah, book lovers. It, it, that's where Lord of the Rings came from, the series. So, there's, Yes, there's, there's... The, it, the movie would not exist if it weren't for the books. Yeah, um, but it so. seems to be of a, of a constant opinion that the movies did an excellent job of interpreting the books as well in some ways probably Incredible. a better job and more accessible and more fun. So, mm -hmm. and, and they're very timeless. You know, there, there isn't a lot of CGI or anything like Kind of like, True. I love Star Wars, for instance, but if you go and watch the older movies, you, it's very aged. You know what I mean? Like the CGI is sure. not great. They didn't have it, you know, so sure. they had to work with what they had. Mm -hmm, but with definitely. Lord of the Rings, it came out a while ago, but because it was all real and all there and all the all the orcs are just actual actors dressed in these outfits and they actually went to a mountain to film it. You know, it, it's I feel like it's this timeless classic that will never really age. And, and that's really special, especially when it comes to movies. And yeah. yes, the extended versions are incredible. I can't watch yep, the um, the non-extended versions now. Yeah, because you, you, you watch the non-extended and you're like, wait, part's not in this version? No, I love that yeah. part. And Like for me, it's like Saruman. Like what happened with him? That was a... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Christopher they, Lee's they epic They don't show anything. Yeah, in the in the theatrical, Christopher he, Lee got gypped in the in the cut version. Yeah, he just <laughs> he just goes into his tower, and that's the last we see of him. In the yeah, movie. it was so dramatic and awesome. The actual like ending of Saruman in the in the extended edition, even like the little things like in Two Tower, where um, I think this is only an extended scene. The real elvish rope, uh, and and they go down down the mountain and then and then uh sam's just like oh it probably won't come down very easily because it's you know elvish rope and then he just pulls on it and it comes down and and, and first just goes real elvish rope and i think that's an extended scene which makes me sad because it's such a good scene uh <laughs> by the way cat i gotta say yeah. chat i love how everyone's geeking out over lord of the rings this is so much fun this is probably one of the Hell most yeah <laughs> uh what's the word i'm gonna say um uh, inclusive talking about any work of fiction right now up here and of entertainment. So thank you, Lord of the Rings. Continue, Cat. So yes. what else? Like I, I love, I love yeah. it. I love talking about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> What's your favorite big battle? I mean, there are a lot of great big battles. Did you have a uh, favorite? I mean, the final one is pretty darn uh, epic, but you know, everyone has different yeah. tastes. Um, ah, uh, I don't know. It's hard to pick one. Um, I definitely love kind of the final battle. Aragorn does his big speech, you know, this day we fight. And, you know, that one's incredible. Um, I love moments in battles. Of course, I love um, the moment where Eowyn, uh, I am no man. And, you know, that one's yes. absolutely incredible. That, that moment's incredible, too. But I also really love, like, the more sad moments. You know, Rohan, like, getting kind of betrayed, not betrayed, but kind of left behind. And, you know, like, just kind of... You know, retreating, the retreating and the hopelessness and all of that. And, like, I, I really... Oh, 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 okay. I just thought of one thing that I really Yeah, yeah, come <laughs> on. We um, got time. The, the battle with the elephants is probably Ooh, the my Mooma favorite. Kill. I think they're called the Mooma Kill. The elephants yeah, are called, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and <laughs> that still only counts as one. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, when they come in, too, the, the, where they come in... Also with the with the um the the spirits that Aragorn kind of found in the caves and made the deal with and stuff and then they, when they come in and they all just kind of look like little plankton from far away like overtaking yeah, yeah. the elephants like it was so cool I love that fight too there's such amazing fights it's there's just oh so good llama spread chia <laughs> yeah there's such amazing battles like. Ah. Yes, really, Chia. really incredible. Stuff. Yes, the Elvish world rope. The uh, this is Chia God, the Elven food. Yeah, Lambus uh, yes. Lambus bread, I think it was. Yes, Lord of the Rings Lambus does bread, yeah. bring everyone together. <laughs> I used to, uh, I used to eat 
non-frosted pop tarts and pretend it was lime spread. Hey, hey you know what? <laughs> who, who doesn't like to pretend they're eating their favorite food from something they enjoy? All I that, mean, shoot. I, uh, I mean, yeah. as kids, I mean, this is a totally different one. But anyone who here knows the land before time, um, tr- remember the tree yeah. star? Who here remembers tree stars? Right. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> my brother and I, we used to eat um, veggies, any kind of veggies, but specifically, remember the nori, the nori, um, uh, nori. It's, they're like crispy, spicy yeah. ones. Yeah. We would pretend we would put them together because they were in square shape. So we would put together them until they would like lay them <laughs> on top of each other, and they made a star and say those are tree stars. So as yeah. kids, so yeah, totally get it. I... I used to pretend I was like a dinosaur from Lambert for time. Like I'm Sarah. <laughs> it was so stupid. <laughs> you, I have um I have a twin brother, and um we would always had almost like this secret language where we would just pretend to be different characters, and we would just know like what character we were, and even like as children we would just constantly have this like connection. It was great. We used to do that all the time. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah and, and, and is it uh, cute chat? It is. It really is. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he was always Legolas when we pretended for Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yes. Legolas. Legolas. I oh I actually that reminds me, there's a really fun way to watch Lord of the Rings. Or just any movie, but I specifically did it with Lord of the Rings. If you draw a mustache on a piece of paper and then you cut it out and you tape it to the television and then just watch Lord of the Rings and just wait for a moment where it lands on someone's face in the perfect spot so that they have a mustache. <laughs> it is hilarious. I highly recommend it doing that one day and, and take a picture, you know. Gosh, um, can, can you imagine? We did, we did that one. <laughs> can, can, you, can you imagine the scene? Where, where Smeagol's talking to himself as Gollum in two towers, right? And the mustache is in the right spot and always lands on one of the two. So it's like he's yeah, disguising his, he's like disguising himself, right? So you can tell the difference. That would have been... Oh, my God. Can you imagine that? that would the, be so good. Because right, the camera angle is always the same shot. So it's not like it's any closer or farther. So the mustache would be perfectly yes. placed. Yes. I don't remember how I got that idea. It was just very, very hilarious when we did that with Blood of the Rings. Because there's such serious scenes, and oh, yeah. every single time, just epic. Psh- yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, epic battle. No, you have a mustache now. But, <laughs> but yeah, in- I, I, <laughs> indeed, Luna. Yes, okay. I'm just gonna talk with Luna real quick because yeah, uh, childhood. Yeah, adulthood is a trap, but a good one if you can break through it. Sumio says, "Lord of the yeah. Rings got him into Game of Thrones." Crumpets going with. Oh, oh my yeah, kind of same, kind of same with me as well. Because you know, oh. Sean Bean. Yeah. You know. Sean Bean, Sean... similar context of the fantasy stuff. Definitely, I agree. Oh, Crumpet says... this on Elrond would look so good. It would be hilarious. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Crumpet did the same thing with uh, their TV, the mustache. <laughs> oh, yes. Saran so wrap good. on the it TV. Saran wrap on the TV. <laughs> I got you. Oh, so you'd like draw right on it. I get it. I get it. Um, <laughs> but yes. Oh, my God. It's so good. And so I, was I just... think that that night, yeah, I took a I took a bag of Lay's potato chips, and I wrote in Sharpie above Lay's Lego, so it said Lego Lay's, like Lego. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfection. <laughs> Lego Lay's, yeah. I love Lord, it. Lord of the Rings is Lord of the is indeed excellent, Sumio. But let's not start any uh, yes. any fires in the chat, okay? <laughs> no comparisons. In I, this I mean, I agree. I agree. But you know, we'll let that rest. But I agree, certainly, especially because of the last season. But we won't mm-hmm. get into it. Mm-hmm. No need. No need. We're here for Lord of the Rings. No, no, no. So Lego Lays. Yes. Lego Lays. Um, <laughs> a- anything else that springs from your memory that this thing just I don't know. Yeah. S- uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I watched it so frequently, and when I became when I became eighteen, that's not the word, but as soon as I could get tattoos legally, I started tattooing my um, my right arm with a bunch of uh, stuff from Lord of the Rings. So I'm working on basically what they call a Patrick sleeve, um, and basically you just get a bunch of tattoos from one thing, and then they all end up together in the end. Currently, I only have like three pieces, cool. um, but two of them are pretty big. And um, I, I, I'm working on a Lord of the Rings tattoo sleeve, basically. Uh, oh, wow. Can you tell us what it, some of them are? Like, uh, who they are? Yeah, definitely, both? definitely. Yeah, yeah share, um, share the tats. The biggest one, the biggest, they're all black and gray, so they're, like, um, black and white kind of style. And the biggest one is on my forearm, the outside of my forearm, and it's uh, Sar- Sauron's helmet. And in, like, the spikes of his helmet is um, the eye. And so it's kind of like the helmet turns into the tower. It's very cool. I'm a big fan. 
Uh, and then I also have um, Aragorn's blade with um, some flowers that were actually in the scene where um, Eowyn's brother dies. So nice. Not brother. Eowyn's and then um, I also have just just the fellowship leaf. I also have um, the even star necklace on my other arm, but like that was previous to actually working on the sleeve. But yeah, yeah, 2001. Can you believe it? it's yes. actually the 20th anniversary of Lord of the Rings, like the movie coming out Don't they this year? The movie, yeah, this time the, the movie really, uh, and when they went to theaters, it was like December, wasn't it? So something like that, yeah. yeah. So we're not quite like there, but this year is the 20th anniversary, which is crazy. 20 years. Crazy. Yeah, wow. can you guys believe that? Two That's decades. Freaking... Two decades. I feel hecka old. Like. <laughs> By the way, Trump, but that was holy. <laughs> I smell a watch party. That's possible. We've already done a watch party of Lord of the Rings in my Discord, I think, last year. But I'll freaking I'll do it again. Like, yeah, it's so fun, so good. <laughs> uh, and I own them. I might as well. But man, it is ah. I just, it's its one of those things, I think Lord of the Rings will be one of those things that's just always part of my life. I grew up with it, and it's uh, its very, it's special to me, you know? I, I can't yeah. go, I can't go, like, uh, like half a day without quoting Lord of the Rings in some fashion. Like, you, you'll, if you, if anyone comes to my streams, you'll catch myself occasionally, you know, quoting Lord of the Rings without meaning to, and then I'll be like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I just do it constantly. Oh, the other thing I wanted to bring up was yeah, I actually yeah. I went to a convention the other the other year with um, uh, the actor that played Gimli, and he's oh, and he also play, like, he plays like, like John Rice Davies, I think his name is. Uh... Yes, yes, that's his name, and um, he played uh, Gimli, and he also played Treebeard because they they play they're the same person, which is really cool. But um, he's so amazing. He's so wise, and like his his voice and accent like he's got such a nice voice and it was so mm -hmm. soothing and i got I was so freaking stoked and he's actually to, to tall see him in real i life. think he's he's pretty freaking tall actually uh i don't remember how tall he was but i because I, I only saw saw him like on a stage mm -hmm. i was like dang he definitely doesn't look dwarf height that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's definitely pretty tall but that's he's so cool. cool he's he's really cool he's a cool dude he's like a he's a shakespearean actor outside oh. of uh, lord of the rings so he just i don't know he's got a lot of cool experiences um that's yeah, neat. highly recommend looking into it he's very neat he's a neat dude yeah he gets around i know the guy i mean he does lots of voice acting um, oh, Tia, yeah. Tia God met the actor who played Pippin once. Oh, nice. <gasps> Pippin. Jelly. I'm so jelly. Pippin's amazing. Yes. He's yeah, also in, um, technically in X-Men as well, but briefly. We're talking Pippin uh, or we, are we back on uh, Gimli? Uh, uh, Pippin. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I know, I know um, Gimli, uh, John Rise davies uh, he, he Billy he... Boyd, I think, is Pippin, right? Billy Boyd? That sounds that right. Yes, yeah, Billy Boyd. I think it's Billy Boyd. Yeah, Billy Boyd. Yeah, he's very cool. Gimli, according to Fig, <laughs> that's Kenworth Fog. It's pronounced Fig. He's one of my mod. You see there, very awesome guy. Got it. He's got such a. It's, there's a quality to Fig that I really like. I don't know. It's in his speech pattern. It's very endearing. <laughs> I, I'm serious. So. Um, got you. Got you. But um, yeah. Uh, I know he started in Sliders, but I know that he was in Raiders of the Lost Ark. He voices Macbeth yeah. on, on Gargoyles. Um, mm -hmm. What else has he done? Um, oh, he was Aladdin, the King of Thieves. He was uh, he was Aladdin's father, and um, oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, I, I I've known him from other things before he became Ginley. So um. yeah, he's <laughs> he's really really talented. He's super yeah. awesome. Yeah, dude gets and just around. nice. <laughs> I'm glad to hear he was really kind and nice. That's awesome that you met him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really cool. Um, I want. I wish I almost met um the the actor that plays Sam. But I, I, he wasn't like at Sean the Aston. booth or whatever. Yeah, Sean Aston, thank you. He wasn't at the booth when I was getting um, an autograph from someone else. I think it was um, Jason Momoa. I was getting a, a sitting an autograph from Jason Momoa, and he wasn't there at the time, so I couldn't get an, a, an uh, autograph from him. Unfortunately, <laughs> but yeah. Oof. It's cool. I wish I could have met him. That would have been really freaking cool. That would have been. I, I mean, it's Sam. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, I uh, another time. Oh, so, so speaking of conventions, 
You said you were always uh, Aragorn's your favorite as a kid. You played Aragorn. Did you ever? Yeah. Co- Who did you cosplay as? Have you ever cosplayed as any of them? I've never cosplayed anyone from Lord of the Rings. Can you believe that? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I thought you would. That's why I asked. Cool. Well, that's fine. I know. <laughs> you think? It's, I think it's just because I don't really cosplay people that are from like real life stuff. Like I usually cosplay from anime. Oh, okay. So I guess I just never really got to it. But one day I would love to cosplay Arwen. She's so beautiful. Beautiful uh, and just oh it would be so amazing if i could but oh man like getting that like a dress like that would take a, either a lot of time to make or it'd be very expensive but true one day true. one day it might happen <laughs> by the way chia god's uh story was uh, he was helping setting up for an oscar party not the official one and helped uh billy boyd this is P- pippin we're talking about move a few boxes that's how you met him Ooh, is that that's what happened? so cool that's neat so cool he's also a super talented singer like, his voice is freaking beautiful. I know yes. he sang a couple of the credit the credit songs uh, for The Hobbit, at the very least. Yes, uh, um, the final oh, and, one. Oh, and of course, in the movie, he sings in yes. Lord of the Rings also. Uh, uh, that scene where the, of, the uh, what was it, what was it, um, the steward, right? The him asshole. To sing. Yes, yes. <laughs> that guy gets around, too. He does a lot of, in the movie, the show, he does. He does. I, wa- I used to watch him in uh, Fringe. He was in Fringe. Yes, he always had, like, Russian accents, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's a really good actor, but damn, I hated him. I mean, that just proves that he's a good actor, right? Yes. If you can like him and hate him in different roles, that that's good acting. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, that is yeah. the story Chia was setting up. Awesome. Um, what else yes. you got, Cat? Um, let's see. We got about nine minutes before you have to get to your thingamajig. Would you like to call it here, or you want to say a few more cool things about Lord of the Rings? I kind of think I have if I have any more cool things about Lord of the Rings. Yeah, we ran through a lot. This is great. This is this is very informative, yeah. very fun so far. So take your time. Yes, I'm glad to meet more Lord of the Rings fans. Yeah. Um, the only other yeah, the only other thing I can think of is that actually in um in uh, my husband's um, vows to me, he vowed to watch Lord of the Rings with me every six months. Uh... We are definitely overdue. <laughs> That is awesome. That that what kind of better <laughs> vow can you get? <laughs> okay, hey hey folks, come on, give it up for the Hunts Bondo now. Now that's a vow for a, for the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, let's go. Can, yeah, clap clap for the Hunts Bondo. On. Come on, let me see them potty potties. Come on, come on, he's earned it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's sweet. That's really awesome. Yeah, uh, absolutely adore it and. Hopefully, who knows? Maybe I'll cosplay it in the future, but I gotta watch it again because I'm overdue. It's been like a little over a year, and I'm upset. Okay, maybe less. Okay, it's been less than a year. I'm still upset. I need to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Cepheus, Husband of the Year Award. Yes, true love indeed, Luna. Thank you, Fig, for it. Yes, yes, Husband. Yes, yes. Thank you, chat. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put something in the chat right now for him. Let's see. Where is it? Yes, here we go. He gets the stay cool, stay sharp emote. There we go. I'm Very I'm cute. holding I'm holding an ice cream and a samurai sword, so you know, stay cool, stay sharp. <laughs> Very cute. Very Thank cute. You. No, you're <laughs> cute. There we go. There it is. No, you. No, you. Uno reverse card. <laughs> okay, I surrender. I surrender. I'm I'm not into, okay, okay, I, okay, I'm good. not an Uno master, so I always have to give up. <laughs> I am an Uno master. <laughs> So, you know what, folks? Yeah. That's a good one to end up on. A, a vow, Lord of the Rings every six months. So, thank you, oh, Lord yeah. of the Rings, for all these. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you, Lord of the Rings books, for starting it. And yes. So, we stand J.R.R. Tolkien. Woo. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all. Thank Same. you, Lord of the Rings. So, and Kat, thank you for sharing so much awesome stories with us about it. Of so, course. 